Personal Rapid Transit, or PRT, is an increasingly viable, sustainable transportation solution in diverse urban, airport, and campus settings. Advanced systems engineering is allowing industry players to develop automated and driverless pod cars that move along customizable routes to satisfy needs in complex, high-volume transit environments. One PRT project is being developed in Mazdar City, a carbon-neutral car-free city that is under construction in Abu Dhabi. The government of the United Arab Emirates is dedicated to developing Mazdar City as a carbon-neutral hub for sustainable living and clean tech research and development. As part of the initiative, it will implement and test an innovative, sustainable PRT system that eliminates the need for cars in the city. How this vehicle operates without a driver, automated, seamless, is a massive undertaking of Portions never done on a citywide system. The PRT system at Mazdar City is slated to become operational in May 2010. The technology developed by To Get There has never been deployed to this scale. This is the, the home, the track of the PRT. It's running on this purpose built concrete track. It's receiving information from the turquoise line above your head through a Wi Fi network. So from here, it's communicating with the operational control center. Basically, when the vehicle traverses the track, it's doing it with an electronic map. So it's been told exactly where every obstacle is in this undercroft. Many PRT systems, like this one by Vectus, use guide or railways. The Mazdar initiative is using to get their pod cars, which run without a track and offer flexibility to service multiple stations by different routes. We pre-program the routes of the vehicle in the software. Uh, it will follow that route, and once it's following the route, it will calculate how far it's driven and in which direction. But in the ground, we set the magnets. These are the, the devices that are constantly checking the alignment of the vehicle so that we keep it on this perfect dead wreck. It's, this is the dead reckoning principle. Yeah. We keep it dead on this track every time. Yeah. So these magnets, the vehicle can miss one, if it misses two, it stops. And as I say, these magnets are permanently pulling the vehicle back into alignment as it goes around the track. When somebody comes into the vehicle, you've already pre-selected your destination outside the vehicle. There's a console there where you can enter your destination. In this first phase, it's going to be really simple because there's just two stations. So if you're at one station, you're automatically traveling to the other. Once you get inside the vehicle, if you forgot to do it outside, you can still do it on this touchscreen. Then you have some uh, hardwired buttons. The hardwired buttons are located on both sides. The green one is what we call the go button. So if you select your destination outside the vehicle, all you need to do is come inside, push the green button, and the vehicle goes. What we're going to do now is we're going to jump in. Uh, we're going to press the green go button. It's going to reverse out, and it's going to go round. Driverless pod right now. Uh, we have the, the passenger user in, passenger interface. In future, the intention will be that um, you would be able to change your destination if you so desired en route. Project developers at Mazdar City plan to use electricity generated by solar panel arrays to power the electric pod cars. Lithium ion battery at the back of the vehicle. Uh, the battery allows us um, about 60 kilometers of range, including air conditioning use. About 30, 40 trips, we would need to go off for a recharge for an hour just to give it a boost. But the general will, will recharge overnight. And what is the charge bay look like? The well, this is a charging oh, bay. I'll show you when we, when we get out, I'll show you what a charging bay looks like. Wow. As the vehicle arrives in the berth, it, it basically sits over this. This charging pantograph will, will rise. And these two pads here make contact with two prongs on the underside of the vehicle. Once the communication system senses the vehicle is in the right position, then it will energize the charging. In the first phase of operation, 13 pod cars will service transportation from parking garages to classroom, office, and living space at the Mazdar Institute of Technology. The trick is now to expand it beyond 13 vehicles. Now when more of the city opens up, we'll need 50 vehicles. We'll have more segments. So that will further challenge the control systems and the software of those vehicles. And that's where the innovation will take place as we move forward with the development of the city. Someday, a city such as Hong Kong could have an area where a PRT system 
takes the place of fossil fuel vehicles and allows people to move about that city utilizing a PRT system. That's the goal of Mazda, and that's what we're doing here today, is creating this initial piece, learning from it, and expanding that uh, component for the future.